Welcome to our latest cabin, which is going to ship tomorrow morning. I'm going to take you in and give you a little tour. Take a few minutes because this has got a lot of things inside this cabin. These are trapezoid windows over the end. And that long brown thing underneath the windows is actually a heating unit, which we'll talk about later. These are all casement windows that crank out. They're triple pane windows. This, got, this cabin has a, a three quarter loft we refer to. Kitchen has a bunch of kind of fun features. I'll show you a few. Under cabinet lighting is fairly obvious. Cabinets all have adjustable shelving. Down below, we have a pull out trash slide out. Underneath, Full extension drawer and then all the base cabinets have large drawers that pull out and then the top standard drawer so that's that's true of the cabinets down below also have the same kind of pull out drawers as you can see, a deep one at the bottom and then a medium in the middle and then a top regular drawer. Underneath we have a connection to a frostless faucet, shutoffs, plumbing and air vent for a double sink. Deep double sink. And then over on this side, we have a kind of a unique feature. It's actually the refrigerator with the freezer underneath that has basically been built right in to the to the wall and that's the refrigerator freezer up above you have a couple of small cabinets doors that open this is the thermostat that controls Actually, there's a second heater that I didn't speak of that's along this section. So there's two of those heaters in this living room. And they're gonna have, I think they're gonna do dining room over on this, in this corner area. As we come down, there's more cabinets, electric glass top, nice stove, a really nice microwave that has a mirror on the front of it. So as I walk by it, I don't want you to be seeing me, but that mirror is, uh, Quite effective. Well, same cabinets all the way across through. Hanging pendant light, smoke detector and carbon monoxide up above that's tied into one in the bedroom. And then as we go into the bathroom, you have a small little shelving unit on the side. A trash receptacle is going to go down in that lower area and then kind of a nice space to put maybe a hair dryer or something in that upper shelf. And then a three-way mirror effect with a medicine cabinet in the middle that opens. This room has uh, dimming lights which you can control separately, depending on what you want, how you want the lighting to, to be done. You can dim it down or brighten up certain sections, and then you can brighten up this section if you're interested. So nice lighting. Come around the corner, that's an air vent, air exchange that, that removes air based upon this hemostat, which if I push it, immediately turns it on you should be able to hear that 
towel rack over the top of the toilet. It's a double flush toilet. Um, one water flow for number one and one water flow for number two. It's a press button on top of the toilet, depending on which one you want. And then off to the side, big deep cabinet for towels and storage for in the bathroom. And then down below, we have a 220 heater, which will throw a lot of heat into the bathroom and toilet paper holder that happens to be there in this case. Really nice big casement window. And then as we come around, we have a two door glass shower stall that opens It's a very nice effect. And then behind, behind this bathroom door, when we swing it shut, we have a double door, which opens to a stacked washer and dryer. So as you're, as you're looking into the mirror, it's basically opposite the vanity. Those are held shut. And then they've got different towel holders and robe holders that are mounted in the cabin. Down below we have another holder. And then underneath, once again, the plumbing, shutoffs, air vents, and more storage. Then as we come around this corner, we have a ladder that goes up to the loft and the ladder slides out on its own into a locked position. So this would be the, the access angle. And when we go up the ladder, we come to the upper loft with a casement window that cranks out. And a nice area for queen size bed, a yoga small area or some kind of a meditation area, but a nice napping area. Has its own light with dimmers, so you can turn down the lights or brighten them up, and you can shut them off. That's the loft. We call it a three-quarter loft. Kind of give you an idea. You can look out the windows over the, the uh, kitchen area from the loft. And then to fold the ladder back up, you just slide it in place and it goes back into its upright position. This is another primary entrance door, which in this case is going to open out to a deck going down to the lake. Here we have a, a corner closet, which is going to have hooks in it for robes and things. It's also going to be where they plug in a powered uh, vacuum cleaner with that outlet and a nice place to put hat and gloves and things when you come in on a cool day. And then we go into a room where we have a pocket door that closes and swings open. And there's a built in queen size bed, the mattress they supplied and the headboard they supplied and we attached it. Underneath the bed on both sides, there's two big drawers that fully extend and are really deep. As you can kind of see from here, I think, they're very deep storage drawers. You could put comforters or big heavy blankets. There's two of those on each side, electric panel. Another one of those heating units it runs this wall. The smoke detector that's tied into the carbon monoxide and smoke detector above the kitchen. And the thermostat that runs this heater. Nice casement windows over the top of the bed and casement windows on the end that crank out. And two more above the desk with the uh, quartz countertop that matches the kitchen and bath. Then each of the um, each of the people have a similar three drawer full extension drawers for their storage other than the two under the bed 
there's three of these on each side and then a double door hang up closet for clothing to hang up and then there's a shelf above that you can set things up on so there's two of those units in the room and another ceiling fan and lights and so this cabin is ready to be packaged and shipping tomorrow it's got some unique features in it um, it's a 500 square foot not counting the loft area the refrigerator is definitely something that is a new thing for us as far as inserting it and covering the doors with pine the upstairs has windows that crank out there is going to be another pendant light that's going to hang over this corner area the actually the outlets there and a hook is going to go where that black spot is and that's going to hang over the eating table um, the exact location we're going to wait until we see the furniture so thanks for coming along i'll take a couple still pictures and show you what the outside of the cabin looks like but this is our latest cabin that's shipping tomorrow and it's going down a little bit south of us in the Adirondacks along a nice lake. So thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoy this picture. Thanks now.